Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this project, I'm going to show you how we can control our WS2812B new pixels using the Raspberry Pi and our mobile phone here. Looking at my current setup, you would see that I have here my Raspberry Pi 0W single board computer, my WS2812B new pixels, and the logic level converter chip here that will convert our 3.3 volts into the 5 volts that is being used by this WS2812B new pixels. So I have a plus application that is currently running in here. So we're going to access that one and we should be able to control these new pixels effects based on what I'm going to enter into my mobile phone. So to start off, let's click this one. So this is my application running in my Android phone that I'm go that I'm going to be using to control this WS2812 new pixels. So if, if I click this one, the first item in the list, which is the effect called wipe, you would notice that the new pixels is showing different effects called wipe. If we click the rainbow search, sorry, the checker, you would see but that my WS2812 is running like a checkerboard. Something like that. So if we click the rainbow search, you'll notice that the WS2812 is showing rainbow effect and it's changing the colors of each individual addressable LED into different colors. While we tried the, the first one, the last one, which is the swirl. So the swirl basically creates some sort of an effect wherein the colors are being swirled around my 8x8 RGB LED. And the last effect, which is the tunnel, which is a different effect from the first pore that we can have. As you can see, using my mobile phone, I am able to control the kind of effect that I would like to show in my WS2812 NeoPixels. If we go back to the first effect, which is the wipe, you will notice that the WS2812 is now showing the wipe effect into the new pixels. And that's it for the demo on how we are going to control our new pixels or WS2812 using our mobile phone. That's it. Happy exploring!